Number three, B lines. B lines, also known as ultrasound lung comets, they are due to discrete vertical reverberation artifacts that originate from the pleural line, extend to the depth of the image without decreasing in intensity, and move synchronously with lung sliding. Their characteristic feature is that they obscure A lines an increase in the density of the underlying lung caused by the replacement of air by exudate, transudate, collagen, blood, etc. lowers the acoustic mismatch between the pleura and the underlying structures. This causes the reflection of the ultrasound beam back to the transducer and to and through movement of the reflected beam, producing distinctive comet tail artifacts. B lines are not observed in pneumothorax as they are seen only at pleura tissue acoustic interface for which opposition of both pleural layers is required whereas in pneumothorax both layers are separated by air in between them. Occasional B lines up to 2 can be seen in normal lungs commonly at the basis. They are considered significant if 3 or more B lines are seen in a single image between two ribs. Sonographically, interstitial syndrome appears as multiple B lines. Their number increases as air content of the lung decreases, and there is an increase in lung density. When closely spaced less than 3 mm, they appear confluent and are due to subpleural fluid filled alveoli, corresponding to ground glass opacities on CT scan. In cases of interstitial edema, which is a precursor of alveolar edema, their presence or absence may guide the fluid administration. It has been proposed that their appearance suggests that further fluids should be administered with caution or restricted, as they may precipitate alveolar edema. Similarly, B lines disappear with the treatment of pulmonary edema.